This video describes the new population pyramid statlet added to Stack Graphics 18. A population pyramid is used to display the distribution of a population by age and gender. Here you see the population of the United States in 1961. The pyramid illustrates the number of individuals in the population falling in various age categories, 0 to 4 years, 5 to 9 years, and so forth. The number of males is illustrated on the left, the number of females on the right. You can see that in general, the older the age category, the fewer members there are in the population, except for one noticeable bump for the age category 35 to 39. The statlet I'm about to demonstrate will illustrate how the population of the United States has changed over time. I've loaded into Stack Graphics 18 a file called US Population. It contains data for every year between 1950 and 2012. It shows the number of females and the number of males of various age categories beginning with the ages 0 to 4 years and ending with those aged 85 or older. To generate the population pyramid I'll go to Statlets, Time Series Visualizers and choose Population Pyramid. On the Data Input dialog box I'll select the column labeled male for sample 1, the column labeled female for sample 2. Where it asks for age categories, I'll put in age, and where it asks for a slicer, I'll put in the column year. I'm also going to go now and divide the number of males by a million, and also the number of females by a million. That will make the labels better when we actually create the pyramid. I'll now press OK and a window will appear with the population pyramid showing the population distribution in 1950. One of the most striking aspects of this graph is the number of children aged 0 to 4. This is often referred to as the baby boom that occurred immediately after World War II. Now to see how things changed over time, I'll go to the Statlet toolbar and press this button. This will advance the years one year at a time. You'll notice several things. First off, you'll notice the baby boomers getting older as that bump moves up the chart. You'll also notice the number of individuals in the higher age categories increasing fairly dramatically. Take a look at it again. I'll push this button on the toolbar and it will continuously now cycle through the years. Notice how that initial shape of the pyramid changes quite a bit with the categories, the younger age categories, definitely flattening out over time. Adding animation to the population pyramid shows a lot of information that you could not see in a single static display. 